Okay, now the read part and the update part works. And let's add functionality to add a specific hero. So like before, uh, let's go to the first to HTML. So we will add this ability to add a hero here. So under the heroes, so hero.component.html, underneath the my heroes, before we list them, let's add a div. Um, let's put a label here, label hero name and the input so input and declare a local variable hero name like this and we will pass the hero name into our function on the heroes uh, component like this now let's add a button with a click handler of add and we pass now hero name dot value Okay, like this and after this because when we submit add we want to clear our um, input so we will call the hero name that value is empty okay like this and let's add add will be the name of the button okay Like this when compiles. Okay, we have our add input field and button. Okay, now let's implement this add method in our heroes.component.ts under go to detail and add uh, we pass in a name of a string from the input. And uh, in a case we we left a few empty spaces before, we need to clear this, and we will call the name the trim on the string, and we will uh, reassign it to the name like this. And if the name does not exist, if it's empty, we will just return. In other case, we will call the this here service dot create. Like this and we pass in a name and this is a promise so then um, so we will add it to our web API which adds it to a um, so-called database but uh, on the front end so on our view we don't have uh, this new hero yet so we will just when we when we get the hero back we will just put it uh, in uh, our Heroes array. So just call the this.heroes.push hero. Like this, and we also need to clear the selected hero. Um, like this is null. Okay. Um, now we need to implement this heroes, uh, this create method on the hero service so we navigate to the hero service under the update let's um, create we passed in the name of string this will return the same as update so promise of hero and we call the uh, return this dot http dot post post request and we pass in the heroes url and similar to the update, we stringify the um, the object we get into here. But since it's not the whole object, we need to create an object and tell it this is just a name like this. And also we need to add headers. So um, another object headers is this dot headers okay and this will be a observable so convert it to the promise and then we get a response back we need to um, return it so we can add it to our array 
like this. And in a case of error, we just handle error like this. So we call this dot uh, here's URL. We pass it uh, another object. We convert it to the JSON. We assign name, uh, which we get with the parameters to the name, and we pass the headers. So we can try this out. Here, name is yes, add, and it adds to the here's. Okay. Now the last uh, part will be uh, ability to delete a hero. We will add here an X uh, sign, and when we click this X, we can delete um, this specific hero. So let's go to the heroes.component.html, and under the hero name, we will add a button with a class of delete. Um, with a click handler of delete and we pass which here to delete and we also call the event dot stop propagation which prevents the DOM bubbling mm, just put this here uh, and the name of button is X like this okay and I will um, immediately apply some styling um, you can find this styling uh, into in the getting started because this X is uh, relative to the hero name length I will just add some styling to the heroes component CSS so it will move to the right part of the hero's entry. So button dot delete delete class float right margin top is two picks mm, margin right background color gray And color of the text will be white. Okay. So we have the button here, uh, but we need to implement the functionality. So go to the heroes component.ts. Underneath the add, we will call the delete. We pass in the hero. And uh, here we will just call the hero service dot delete delete and we will pass the hero ID. Okay, and this will be a promise. We get the response. And now similar to before, we need to um not add but remove our this entry from our local heroes. Okay, we can do this by this dot heroes. Is this dot heroes dot filter and we filter if it's not hero like this okay and if uh, we select selected this hero and we delete it we need to null the selected hero Otherwise, it will give an error because this uh, selected hero does not exist anymore. Okay, like this. Cool. And uh, the last thing for us will be to implement this delete method on the hero service. Let's go to the hero service. Underneath the create, let's call the create a delete with ID because we pass only the um, here ID this will return a promise void like this and again we need to declare an URL a specific URL with ID to delete we can just copy from the get hero because it's the same uh, we get an ID so here's URL slash ID and we just call this dot HTTP dot delete 
with URL and headers. Headers. Is this dot headers like this? We convert it to, to the promise and on the then we just null it. And in the case of um, error, we just handle this error. And now we have a full functional um, create, read, update, and delete um, app. So if I try to delete this Mr. Nice, nothing happens. Let's take a look at the console. Cannot read property ID of undefined. Okay. Let's take a look at the HTML first. So here's component HTML. Our, we are not passing the hero, but hero. Let's correct this to the hero. And let's try to delete one hero again. And it gets deleted. Also the adding works. And if I click on the view details, I should be able to update and save it. Yes. So in the next tutorial, we will take a look at uh, observables. We will implement the hero search functionality with observables.